I want to bring you some headlines, though, that are just crossing now on AT&T. This coming from Reuters, uh, which has obtained a memo uh, relating to AT&T's hiring, as you remember the news breaking earlier this week, of Michael Cohen, the president's personal attorney in 2017 and 2018. Here's what Reuters is reporting now, uh, saying that AT&T's Stevenson, Randall Stevenson, says he takes responsibility for the failure in the vetting process with the Cohen hire. Uh, AT&T saying it hired several consultants to help understand how the Trump administration might approach a wide range of issues, including that Time Warner deal that the company has been so focused on. Uh, AT&T's head of external and legislative affairs, Bob Quinn, is retiring, according to this memo obtained by Reuters. And AT&T's hiring of Michael Cohen as a political consultant was a big mistake. That's what Randall Stevenson is saying in an employee memo to AT&T employees this morning that was obtained uh, by Reuters. Also this morning, the Washington Post reporting new details on exactly what they hired Michael Cohen for. Uh, take a look at the headlines uh, from the Washington Post this morning, and you'll see uh, that the Post is reporting that they've got new documents from inside this deal uh, in which they say uh, the, the company re referred specifically to hiring him to deal with the proposed merger with Time Warner. That's according to those documents obtained exclusively by the Washington Post. Now, earlier in the week, here's how AT&T described all this. They said in early 2017, as President Trump was taking office, we hired several consultants to help us understand how the president and his administration might approach a wide range of policy issues important to the company, including regulatory reform at the FCC, corporate tax reform, and antitrust enforcement. Now, that raised a lot of questions, uh, particularly because Michael Cohen is not a well-known FCC or antitrust expert. What exactly was AT&T hiring the president's personal attorney for here, for what the Post is now reporting was up to $600,000 uh, in fees during the course of that year. Now, the CEO of the company saying it was a mistake. He is joining the CEO of Novartis, uh, who has also said that hiring Michael Cohen was a mistake by the company, it was embarrassing uh, for that company company this week as well when those details were reported. So a lot moving here on the, the personal business here of the president's personal attorneys, guys. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.